Okay, next time you get a clear, starry night, go outside and take a walk and look up. And consider for a moment what you're actually seeing. That light has been traveling for hundreds, thousands, sometimes even millions of years. And while you're thinking about that, think about this. You can see much further in the dark than you can in the light. Because before you can see that far, the sun first has to hide. And faith is somewhat like that too. St. John Vianney once said, the eyes of the body can see only as far as this world, but the eyes of faith can see deep into eternity. To know the deepest things, we have to trust what we hear when Jesus speaks. Okay, so for the past four weeks, Jesus has been telling his apostles in the gospel something that they could only take on faith, that the Eucharist is actually him. My flesh is real food. My blood is real drink. And today, the people turn away from him when he says that. Okay, but Jesus doesn't back down. Why? Because he meant exactly what he said. And that's why he turns to Simon Peter and says, do you want to leave me too? Peter says, Lord, where would we go? You're the one who has the words of eternal life. Okay, so here's your challenge this week. Stop by a church sometime, all right? Stop by a church and look up at the Blessed Sacrament. Hear what our Lord said and believe. Know that Jesus is there. And I want you just to five times say in your heart, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. If you're looking for peace in this stormy world, anchor yourself to the rock, Jesus Christ, here under the appearance of bread and wine. Hear it, know it, believe it, live it. And may God who's begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment.